So here I'm in the town, the Octagon Town. You can see here on Google Maps how it's completely octagonal. Um, I've never seen something like this before in my whole life. And it's got the square in the middle here. The name is Neuf Brisach. Porte de Baal. You know, the gate to Basel in Switzerland. It's next to, next to Octagon, Switzerland. There it is. And this is their coat of arms because it was made by the, uh, the Sun King. You see the Sun, you know, Pharaoh, yeah? the Fleur de Lys with the Templar's cross underneath. And so here you can see how it, it's actually a double octagon. But on Google Maps you can see it like this here. Okay. It's, it's completely, you know, there you can see an obelisk there. There you go, it's completely pharaonic here. And it was built uh, after the Thirty Year War, which is very important, the Thirty Year War, in 1648. And uh, it got accomplished probably not very, well, in the, in the same, uh, as just before the French Revolution then, you know. Here you see the compass. You know, the compass, 60 degrees, you know, on the ball, which is again them, you know, it has a fleur de lis here. And the whole thing, it stands on an octagon as well. It's very real. I've never seen a town like this. It's completely sterile. You know, it's very big. You see here, the soldiers used to be marching here, a very big square. And uh, yeah, I'll show you some more. So here you can see how it's set up. It's a double octagon, you know, but on Google Maps it looks like a, an octagon like this. You know, on the square too it has an octagon. So I know this guy, the ar aristocrat uh, Vauban. They usually they just call him Vauban, de prestre de Vauban, so that's an aristocrat. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he put the compass on it, an obelisk, it's octagonal. You know, here it says somewhere, Rue du Temple, you know, the road of the, the temple, which is a... And there's only, only Protestant churches here. So this church here is a Protestant church. So that means, it, it only means against the king. Protestant, that means against the king. Nothing more, really, against the old world order. For me, that's it. I mean... I've told you in my film about Martin Luther, yeah. So the guy, you know, he, he was a traitor to the king, you know. I can see it in the way he built it, the double octagon, you know, look at it. And, and yeah, so here's his name again. The, the Prestre de Vauban, I don't see very much there. Yeah, the, the Prestre, de, Le Prestre de Vauban, an aristocrat, of course. Yeah. And this thing here, you know, if you look at that Google Maps, it, it almost looks like a chip. Look at it. Well, chips like this, man. Huh? The whole setup. So this guy was a Freemason, no doubt, and a traitor to the king. Uh, that was Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King. Right? So, you know, there's the compass at the top, the most important, even more important. That means the new world order is more important than here, Fleur de Lis, the old world order. You look, it's like pinned on it. And here there's the square. So it says the square and compass. The concept of four is here. And the ball is the world domination. I mean, here you can really see it, that it really means the world domination. Eh? So the world is being dominated, Fleur de Lis, by the aristocracy, which is dominated again um, by the new world order, the compass. And all the way down is the square, the concept of four, and that was the concept of three, us, the people. And here is octagon, which are, of course, an octagon, are two squares, so which is two times the concept of four.
I have no doubt, you know, that that guy, Vauban, he was a Freemason. I mean, it says it all, eh? Uh, oh, there's a little sun on the on the compass. Yeah, look. Look, there's a sun on the compass. So Louis, the Sun King, so he liked it, you know. I really got a problems with with focusing in, eh? My camera is getting old. So if you count the sun rays, you probably get to a certain number as well. You know, and that's where they come from, the sun. Ri, the sun. A ri, stocracy. They were born out of the sun. Octagon, yeah. Probably gives you a lot of um, a lot of lies here, you know. There, in English. Ah. So here you can see it again. The uh, inside it's an octagon and the walls is a double octagon and here again from the from the air like a chip in the middle of nowhere so it's a typical new world order town just made just uh, not even 100 year, years it was finished just not even 100 years before the french new world order and even less before the american new world order and here you can see the uh you can see the pyramid down the car in blue with an oval underneath it's everywhere so i'm here the tourist information incredible the town of octogon next to switzerland it's in the buffer zone of uh, of switzerland you know to defend the uh, the motherland that's why they made it here eh? with a big square in the middle the concept of four there's another one Mont Louis I have no idea where it is of the Sun King you see the Sun everywhere also made by Vauban hey, you see he made another octagon here or the double octagon you can punch it in yourself somewhere. Uh, Mont Louis, the, uh, the mountain of Louis, Louis the Fort, Louis the Sun King. You see, even on the windows, they got all these things here. You know, look, uh, it's very important for them, especially the little square here. You know, in the middle, very important. Me, Pharaoh. Yeah, look, a typical French car. It's got a V8 with a double turbocharged. Extremely fast. <laughs> well, this is what it looks like. It's extremely. I mean, you see here the. You know, you can put some machine gunners in here. You know. Later on in history, there as well. I mean, but like in the in two world wars, the Germans had just flew over. Well, I mean, in the Second World War, like that. Uh, this is one of the new camp trailers with the four four things. Well, anyway, so it looks everywhere. It looks all the same, you know. So I'm not going to walk around this side too. So this is one of the entrances. And I know there, there are, I think there are four. It's all very s symmetrical. I look at how many are there. there are only two. That's weird. Hmm. Of course, all the way around it, they can drown it. You know, the Rhine is very near. I don't know how near. No, it's just next to it. They probably have a canal, you know. So they just laid it. They dried it up, you know, so for the tourists and all that, they don't need to have it like uh, so you can all walk around here, you know, nice. <laughs> of course, there was water in here. What, what's that?
Oh, this is a highly Masonic town, yeah. You see the concept of three up, because that's them, and the concept of four down. That's us. You know, the slaves. Uh, that's a very intriguing building with obelisks on it everywhere. Probably masons in it today. Uh, Yashin and Boas stuff. You see the Germans exercising. It was one time German, then it was Swiss here, and then it was. So the whole building is a army barracks. It's like a Camp Kandahar. Together with the civilian population, apparently. All in a Templar Freemason configuration. Highly occult. So here it says, only after the French Revolution, they call it here an ev evangelical church, which of course is wrong. In French, they call it a Protestant church. And only after 1789, they could be here, the Protestants. And uh, so, of course, you know, because the Catholic, that's the king, and the Protestant is the new world order. So you see, this is again, Another proof that Martin Luther, you know, the Protestants, they're just the new world order against the old world order, that's all. So when they put in place the new world order, the Republic, then the Protestants could come because it's all Freemason stuff. Protestantism is Freemason stuff. That's why the Catholics, they hate it. So I show it again. See my film on Martin Luther. Yeah, I, I can't see a damn thing here on my screen, so I hope you can. So in French it says a Protestant church, but they did a very wrong translation, because as, as far as me, a non-Christian, understands that evangelical is not really Protestant. Well, I'm getting the hell out of here, talking about hell and heaven, and uh, because uh, I have to go and hitchhiking, and it, I mean, I could find a lot more things, but it's all the same anyway, you know. So, yeah. This is quite interesting because this is in the original colors like of a synagogue, like sort of yellow and red stone. So, you know, I'm sure there's a Freemason Lodge here somewhere, but I'm not gonna look for it. Yeah, the sun hieroglyph over the, over the tourist information. And, uh, so don't you ever believe anymore that octagon is not real, they exist. So even 300 years after the Templars disappeared, they could still build this here. And they're still here, folks. And they're going to put this in our arms, you know, the 666, the chip. It's occult, it's all devilish, they exist. I mean, how many more proofs do you need? And they're still here. They're extremely powerful. And they rule the entire world. As I've shown you here. The compass rules over the aristocracy of Fleur de Lys. Rule over the whole world. And down there, the square, is us. They're slaves. They're all together into an octagon. Oh. Uh, okay. The concept of three again. One is one of the balls is bigger. That's for Seth. Yeah, Seth has got bigger balls than Isis. So this one here is called a Celtic cake from Brittany. Gâteau Breton. It's delicious with a lot of eggs in it. And look, I'm drinking milk. Can you believe it? Eh? Must be sick, eh? Fresh milk. So there's another one of the four gates. I think I'm getting out through that one or near it. And so I was telling about the uh, the three balls. Yeah. So the one in the middle is bigger. It's usually in the middle, you know. There. Because that's Seth, the evil one. And in those days, Isis, you know, when you didn't have all these gender benders yet. So Isis didn't have, she had smaller balls, yeah. <laughs> you know? 
Now she has even bigger balls than Seth. Well, Seth still is the head of the gender benders, you know. And here you got Isis, and here you got Horus. I saw that, you know, with the uh, in America with the, some Catholics. Uh, they broke a statue, and there were some. They were bringing kids in a school where they're full of gender benders, you know, little two-year-olds, and so they get used to the bloody idea, right? This idea of our masters. Imagine even a compass in it, you know. So this one here actually means the same one, the same thing, the three balls, as this one here. <clears throat> oh, where is it? Uh, here. One is bigger than the other two. So the horizontal rule, new world order, rules over the old world order, vertical rule, rules over the, the, uh, the globe, rules over humanity. Fantastic. Pharaoh. Homey Ross. There he is, the Sun King. Pharaoh. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> and here's the Octagon Town again. Look at it. It has a Swiss cross in the middle. I didn't see it. Like you know, it's it's you know, he got betrayed, you know, by uh, by Vauban. So, and here you can see the octagon guy again. Yeah, look, there he is, the octagon guy. Don't you believe it doesn't exist octagon? That's why all the the badges nowadays are all octagonal. And even here in Freiburg. Freiburg in Germany, it's also like this. Okay, you see the story of Vauban. There you go. Hello? One, 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 two. There are full of soldiers here. Tens of thousands. They couldn't really defend France with it, you know. <laughs> yeah. well, there's the toilet. Occupied. Somebody having a dump. Uh, this thing is probably for a, uh, some cannons. Oh, look at this. Oh, they had a ship here in this water here. Yeah. A lion, of course. <laughs> A lion, the aristocracy. What's that? Can't see what it is. Yeah, that's a bull. Apis. It's sort of a lizard stuff here. I always say it's modern art, but it does all has a meaning, eh? I don't know what that is. Some more lizard wings, reptilian wings. People in those days, they didn't understand a clue, not a single thing about what's going on, eh? And most of them they still don't want to know. So here's another gate with the octagon here. Oh, they really love the octagon, eh? Isn't it nice? Here's a weird sort of, I don't know what it is. It's not really an obelisk. And here you've got the, uh, there's a rhino. Here's the rhino, like with a unicorn. Mm. So, mm. it's interesting. I've never seen an obelisk with a twist in it like this. Interesting. On a pyramid, eh? And of course, the concept of four down for us. <clears throat> As always, we die. 
It's a monument of the war, 1870-71, with the Germans. Uh, it says... Uh, it even says square. Square Souvenir Francais. Huh. Immortality, okay. Probably theirs. Right? Our masters. So that's the first defense wall. Here you got the second defense wall. I really overdo it here. You know? <clears throat> Typical Swiss overdoing it, you know, like like a Swiss watch. Octagon. Very, very Swiss. It's right next to the Swiss border, you know. <clears throat> of the real octagon. So I'm here next to the Octagon town in a town called Mulhouse, it's a big town. You see here, there's another Octagon here, with a square in the middle. It's, it looks a bit like the rotary stuff, eh? Probably the rotary stuff comes from this one here. So, you see, there are eight Octagon. And it has a square for the, for the, the concept of four in the middle, the square. And the whole circle is, of course, the concept of three, you know, the compass. And here, you see this horrible monument here. You can see there are three big pillars, which is the concept of three. And they are in line, you see, that they are in one line, so they, you know, like, from, like this, from here to here. So they, they, they are together. And there's another line here. They're going down, and there are four, like this, yeah, like four, and that's us, the little ones, that's us, the little ones. You see, it's everywhere, people, believe me, we are their slaves, they put it everywhere, and they see it, and we don't see it. I also put the M, like in the middle of this thing, the M for Mason, if you look at it like this, you know, like this, it says Mason, you know. Why did they put it in the middle, you know? Why? It has a reason. Because like this it says Mason. There's probably a lot more to see. So I have to hitchhike now. I'm not, I'm not, I, don't, I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I, it's getting dark. You know, and the whole thing is like in a circle, you see? Which is the compass. You got three and four. There's one hiding here behind. Yeah, there it is. It's like a like bloody stone edge, it is. Occult. So the druids, you know the druids, all pharaohs. I told you so. Octogon is very real. They even built whole cities, whole towns in an octagonal form. So see my videos. Octogon. The Empire of Darkness and the Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, to understand more about it. And watch the film The Neutral Base of the Master Race and the pyramid, uh, the swastika comes out of a pyramid. It's all about octagon, it's all pharaohs. And here's the concept of four, that's us. And if you want to know about the concept of four, watch the film uh, Murder Children in Castles. About where Dutroux and Fournier, where they brought the children. Those uh, pedophiles, yeah. Freemasons. <laughs>